discussing about discrete binomial distribution and we will be deriving the mean and variance of binomial distribution. So first let's assume that P is the probability of success and Q to be the probability of failure. Then the probability of X success out of N trials can be written as P of X is equal to NCX P of X into Q N minus X. So this is the probability distribution function for a binomial distribution. So it may be observed that the values of P of X for all X are the successive terms in terms of binomial expansion. So Q plus P to the power N will get it as 1 to the power N. Therefore summation of X is equal to 0 to N P of X is always equal to 1. Hence, the binomial distribution function is a probability function. So now, uh, finding the mean, firstly, mean of binomial distribution. So let's start with the mean of binomial distribution first. We know that mean of discrete random variable mu can be written as summation x is equal to 0 to n x into p of x. And we know the P of X value from this, right? The P, P of X value is this. So substituting this in the place of P of X, you get mu is equal to summation X is equal to 0 to N X into NCX P of X Q N minus X. So expanding NCX. NCX if you expand and like NCR if you expand it will be N factorial into N minus R factorial into R factorial. Similarly NCX if you expand you will get it as X is equal to 0 to N. X you write it as it is here N factorial by N minus X factorial into X factorial P of X into Q of N minus X. Now here X factorial is there here X is there. So you can expand x factorial and then uh, cut x and x here. So which would be x into n factorial by n minus x factorial and x into x minus 1 factorial. Here p of x and q of n minus x would retain as it is. Here you cut x and x. So if you cut x and x, you will get x is equal to 0 to n n factorial by n minus x factorial into x minus 1 factorial into p of x q of n minus x. So now solving this further here x minus 1 here x minus 1 is there let's convert the entire equation in the form n minus x factorial which could be written as n minus 1 plus 1 minus x or n minus 1 minus x minus 1. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you here summation will be here n factorial by x minus 1 factorial outside and exp expansion of n minus x can be written as n minus 1 minus x minus 1 factorial. Here p of x is there p of x can be written as p into p x minus 1 and q of n minus x is there. This one copy it in the power of in the place of n minus x. So q of n minus 1 minus x minus 1. So I hope you have understood this step. Further um, you can write it as n. Here n is there so it has to be written in the form of n minus 1. So take n into n minus 1 factorial down x minus 1 factorial and n minus 1 minus x minus 1 factorial here p into p of x minus 1 here q into n minus 1 minus x minus 1 okay so now you can uh, remove p and n from this entire thing so if you take out n and p outside x is equal to 0 to n you can term the rest all things as n minus 1 c x minus 1 
into p of x minus 1 q of n minus 1 minus x minus 1. This could be further written as n p will be outside. Summation would be there p plus q into n minus 1. So p plus q n minus 1 is equal to 1 only n p into 1. So we get mean is equal to n p. So this is our second equation. Now let's look into a derivation of variance of binomial distribution. Firstly, we know that v variance v is equal to summation x is equal to 0 to n x square p of x minus mu square. Mu is the mean here. So taking this as third equation, we will take this x square into p of x now. So x square into p of x can be written as x square minus x plus x. Right. So we will club x square minus x and multiply it with p of x. Similarly, we will we'll multiply x into p of x. So it is x square minus uh, x p of x plus x into p of x. We will take this entire thing which is expansion of x square p of x as fifth equation. Now solving this particular part, only this part because we know that x into p of x we know that x into p of x is np from the previous equation, the second equation which we have obtained. x into p of x is np and mu is also np. This mu is also np. So keeping those terms later for simplification, let's solve the main part here that is x square minus x p of x. x square minus x p of x can be written as x you take common outside x, x into x minus 1 p of x. Now p of x uh, like expansion of p of x we know ncx p of x q n minus x yes write the expansion here now here we have x into x minus 1 now expand n ncx ncx expansion you know n factorial n minus x factorial into x factorial yes you have written it here next p of x into q n minus x now here we have x into x minus 1 here x factorial we have so x factorial you can write it as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial. So that you can cut x into x minus 1 here and x into x minus 1 here. That is what I have done. Here I will cut x into x minus 1. Similarly, here I will cut x into x minus 1. Similarly, here also I will cut x into x minus 1. When I am expanding this x, I should also expand this x. So it will be p into p into p x minus 2. Right. Yes. The next step would be uh, clubbing these two that is it will become p square and we will write n, n factorial here like that only n minus x factorial x minus 2 factorial p square p, x p to the power x minus 2 q to the power x n minus x. So here we can write n minus x as n minus 2 minus x minus 2. That uh, I'll tell you in the further steps why should, why did we take n minus 2 here and in the previous mean derivation why did we take 1 there. So yeah here we take n minus 2 minus x minus 2 yes. So write this n minus x in whichever uh, write the expansion in whichever n minus x is present here. So uh, filling these values in the expansion. At the same time, you, you should split the n factorial value. If you split n factorial, you will get n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. Stop at n minus 2 factorial. Similarly, here x minus 2 factorial and n minus x um, expansion would be n minus 2 minus x minus 2 factorial p square into p to the power x minus 2 q to the power this entire thing. Now, here you have n into n minus 1 into p square. Take it out you'll be left out with uh, the you'll be left out with n minus 2 factorial x minus 2 factorial n minus 2 minus x minus 2 factorial p x minus 2 q n minus 2 minus x minus 2 factorial this the whole thing can be clubbed and written as p plus q to the power n minus 2 so if you expand x square minus x p of x you'll get n into n minus 1 p square summation p plus q n minus 2. Let us take this as equation 6. So in the next step what we will do 
is in the fifth equation will substitute this like x square minus x value will substitute and xp of x value will substitute you get this and now this entire x square p of x you substitute it here and mu square value also np whole square you substitute here so here you'll get n square p square minus np square plus np minus n square p square n square p square n square p square or you'll, you can cancel it and taking np common here you'll get p minus 1 we know that p plus q is equal to 1 so p minus 1 is equal to q so you get variance is equal to n p q we got mean is n p variance is n p q okay so standard deviation would be under root variance it is under root n p q so i hope you have understood how we have derived the mean and variance of binomial distribution uh, if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments uh, do subscribe to my channel thank you